Hello everybody, I am Jeffrey Hauser, author of the Learn With series. Uh, today I'm going to talk about Volta and how my team is using it to switch between different versions of Node within different projects. I'm on my own personal machine which has never been installed so I'm going to do everything from scratch. Um, I started by going to the Volta website, uh, volta.sh, and into the docs getting started which tells you how to install it in Unix and Windows. Um, before we do that, I'm actually going to. I I'm currently have Node.js version 16 installed, and I'm going to look at two projects here. One is an Angular 16 project, uh, actually, Angular 15 project, I'm sorry, because I do a lot with Angular. And the other is an older Angular 8 project. Both of them have um, sort of different support for different versions of AngularJS. And um, Angular 15 supports whatever, 14, 16, and 18. I'm going to install 16 with Volta. And when we go back to Angular 8, I'm going to install Node.js 10 um, with Volta. So let's start um, install. What I, I just downloaded the install from the website. And I'm going to step through the install for us all. Boom. And that should have installed Volta. So let's, if we do oh, it's probably just installed. Let's let me save this. And exit. There we go. Now we have Volta installed. So this, I'm looking at my Volta test project with an Angular 15 project. Um, generic Angular 15, uh, I've done nothing to this code. But we want to, first, we're going to install. Actually, let's do, and now I'm going to do, through Volta, I'm going to install. Node 16 through Volta. So now through the Volta script thing, the way it works, um, I've, I read Simlinks or something. It basically, it introspects the package JSON and knows to redirect to a specific version of Volta any node commands. What I'm going to do is a Volta pin. Now since we have node. So let's look at what that did. It modified the package JSON. And it should be in here. Ah, here we go at the bottom. It installed 16.81 which is just the latest version of 16 and specifies there. If I go back here and I do node version 16.81, whereas previously the one installed on my machine, not through Volta is 16.13.0. So we basically inadvertently, no worries, upgraded um, Volta to do that. And by pinning the version here, we have um, 16.81 and now we should be, oops, wrong one. Uh, we should be able to load this up and everything should work within Angular just as we expect. We'll give this a second to run and then, then load it in the browser so we can see, yes, AngularJS is working exactly as we expect. What we've done is only have installed one version 
one version of Volta. So boom. One version of Node.js through Volta. Let's go back. I'm going to open up a different project, which I just pulled an old one from an old blog post. And look at that package JSON. This is Angular 8. So a much old version. And when we look at this um, compatibility chart, we need Volta 10 installed for support there. So I'm going to go to this project. And I'll, I'll do Volta install node at 10. Let's point 9.0. Let's pull the exact number here. Oh, and I had this open before I installed Volta, so it doesn't know it exists. So copy that. Ten point nine dot zero, ten point nine dot zero. Yes, let's do it. Installing here, and then if I do node version, ten point nine dot zero. Awesome. And this did not change the previous project, which is still at sixteen point eighteen dot one. Next, I'm going to make sure to pin this project. Volta pin node 10.9.0. Oh, uh, did I just do 10? Am I in the wrong directory? I am in the wrong directory. Let's do app. OK. Oh, interesting. It actually. Not what I meant to do. 10.9.0. So I guess I have two different versions of Node 10 installed now. But we're going to go back here and 10.9.0 is installed. And Node version. So that's there. And if I do ng serve, on, mm, oh, that's actually a surprise. that um, yeah so this is actually a surprise so either this dependency is incorrect okay let's do pin 14 dot oops 14.20 which should install it I wanted to do this completely clean without any any prep, which is why I'm running into this. And this should also, yep. And then I should do be able to do ng-serve. It might be my global version of the Angular CLI was different than the local version. That could be why, because I'm assuming the dependency chart is going to be fine. Ooh, that's a lot of circular dependency errors, which I didn't but it compiled and I haven't done anything with Angular 8. But hey, okay. The app that I created um, with was experiments around reloading routes, which is probably a blog post. So I'm going to clear that. What I'm going to do now, I'm going to go back and if I do node version, interesting, the most recent version of node that I installed for Volta is is there. So my base install of Node.js, which we started with 10 point, uh, I forgot that would be in the other window, if we still have it, of 16.13 seems to be gone, but we can do Volta list well let's see I thought there was I thought there was a Volta list C 
current shows us the current active one. And anyway, I'm going to I'm going to stop there. I was hoping list, which I've never actually used before, would give me all the um, all the versions of node installed. Actually, I'm going to do one thing. If I open up a brand new Okay, so Volta seems to have taken over all my command prompt consoles. And it's so the last version, and I suspect if we do node version here, we get 16.18.1, and if we go back here, it did not change. And if I go okay, so it's different in in different different windows based on the, if I go up one, okay, I don't know why it's defaulting to 10.9. So but anyway, my adventures with Volta, very, very haphazard. Um, it's been really helpful with my team because we actually have different Node.js projects that require different versions of Node. So um, it's been very helpful. We don't have to think about it when we switch between the two.